Now then, um, to try and keep me up up with making the videos, um, try and get back into the, the habit of what I was in, making them all the time, um, I'm going to find things to make a video of and I'm going to do a quick workshop tip for people that don't have any expensive tools or any machinery. Um, this method can be used for both knife making and slingshot slash catapult making and it's simple, really simple, but a lot of people don't know it. Um, and it's for flattening surfaces. So this has, hang on, see if I can see. So this has just been cut on the bandsaw. Um, and as you can see, the surface is not great, it's not ideal. You couldn't just glue that straight to something. So I need to flatten them off. Um, and expensive way to do it is to use your grinder, use your platen. The cheap way to do it is to use a piece of glass. Now this here is a dedicated piece of glass for the job. Um, it's called a laughing laughing plate or laughing glass. Um, however, any decent thick piece of glass is going to be level enough for it. Now I've actually got another one over there that came off a tabletop um, that's bigger than this. Uh, now I suppose if you get the micrometer out, this is going to be flatter. Um, but for general use, you ain't going to know it. And uh, the way we do it is to stick an adhesive on there, stick that on there, and rub. It's that simple. Uh, this one was absolutely filthy because I've not used it in a while, so I'm just uh, giving it a quick clean up, and I'll show you how easy it is to to use. Just make sure that there's no lumps on it because that will defeat the object of it being flat. So I'm just using a gasket scraper, which isn't the best. <laughs> you do what you do, right? Get all that crap off there. I think we're getting somewhere near, or at least near enough for now. Um, if I was to use finer grit, then I would have to make sure it was intrinsically clean. But I'm using a coarser grit, so it just needs to be flat. Not flat enough. So, just let that dry off. That's just met by the way I'm using on cleaning. Um, stuck it in a pump spray. Uh, happens to be a hose lock one because none of the others the seals last. Um, and all I'm going to do to attach it is excellent prep work is um, carpet adhesive now I've used multiple different types of adhesive for this um, I've tried using the repositionable stuff so it comes off and uh, it doesn't it does in the first few minutes but um, once you go to take it off after it's been on there for a few weeks it's no different um, so I just get whatever's cheapest and this was six quid for a great big can instead of five quid for a tiny little can. Now uh, this bit's a bit messy so I'm gonna move over onto the floor. Now obviously I've been very careful laying that piece of glass on the floor because it's quite a lot of money's worth. Yeah, just give the can a good shake and now it's a bit windy so it's probably going to go everywhere. It's like cobweb in a can. But yeah, all you do is let the aerosol evaporate and then um, you just stick the bit of uh, sandpaper on top.
Now I suppose what I could do, if I was really clever, would be to mask the edges so I don't get excess glue everywhere. Um, but I'm not that bothered. Now one thing that I do tend to find is if you stick it perfectly in the middle, um, put a gap between the edge of the paper and the edge of the glass, I find if you just put one edge neatly up against the edge, uh, when you're working with really thin material, it makes it much easier because you can roll that off the edge, which I'll show you at some point if you're interested. Just flatten it down. Try not to get it, I do roll over. And the excess should in theory wipe off. It does, I'm expecting that. Hey, it's a mess, lad. So you've got it stuck on, you've made a mess, um, so all you then do is take your two blocks of wood and a pencil, uh, chance will be a fine thing, pencil. Take a pen, not that kind of pen, a kind of pen just mark on the the back surfaces and then it's a simple case of as you can see straight away kick the camera as you can see straight away, it's knocking off the high spots. side There you go. Perfectly flat. Um, and you can use this for a number of things. If you were to be laminating a slingshot, same idea. And also you can use it for uh, bearing surfaces in, in, in bikes and cars etc uh, for you to use a much finer grit I've normally got 
a second one on the other side um, that's a finer grip but it's a bit of a mess it's covered in glue and stuff that needs changing I tend to just blow that off with the airline it comes straight off ready to go again but there you go lapping plate glass whatever 